This is the Onion News Network. Better news, better viewers. Let's get right to it. I'm going to take you to New York, where State Senator Matthew Osgood is under fire from colleagues for accepting an insultingly cheap bribe. Osgood allegedly promised an FBI informant lucrative state contracts in exchange for $3,000. New York officials were, of course, outraged. $3,000 is a crime. Matthew Osgood brought shame on New York, a glorious state that shouldn't be sold out for any less than $250,000 in a large boat. And across the country, proponents of gun rights are celebrating today following a Supreme Court decision to uphold a citizen's right to carry a gun at head level in public. While critics have long claimed the practice is dangerous, gun advocates say holding a gun at head level at all times is necessary for self-defense. A man can't feel safe unless he knows his gun is pointed at every other man's temple. I'm a single mom, so I, I can't take chances with my baby's safety. The NRA is hoping that this ruling will push the courts to recognize other gun owner rights, such as the right to put a gun in someone's mouth while crushing their throat with his boot. And in some more Supreme Court justice news, the Beltway is buzzing after Stephen Breyer was spotted crying yesterday outside of a doctor's office, leading to a frenzy of political speculation that the associate justice might have an incurable disease which would require President Obama to nominate someone new to the nation's highest court. D.C. wonks have vowed to be more careful than last year when they misdiagnosed Justice Kennedy's head cold as possible tuberculosis and Scalia's food allergy as the German measles. Nonetheless, a Washington Post columnist predicted that if it's AIDS, Breyer could potentially serve another five years. But if it's lung cancer, Obama will have to make a new appointment before summer. Brooke. Thanks, Tucker. So what's your guess for Breyer? I'm going to go with lymphoma. Uh, I was going to say cardiovascular disease, but I think you're probably right, Brooke. It's probably lymphoma. Tucker and I love to play this game. Well, we need to take a short break right now, but you can always stay connected to the Onion News Network online. Right now on our website, you can see the full text of the Labor Department's new jobs report that's revised the unemployment rate upwards to 72% after finding that millions of Americans were listing podcasting as a job. Stay with us.